and this is Tank's Vlog, June 25th, 2017. Well, now that the season's over, now the Mets played some good baseball. Although, maybe it's because they played a team that is much, much, much worse than they are. That team I'm talking about is the San Francisco Giants, who have won three World Series in this decade. So it's got to take a lot of the sting away from San Francisco. But my God, those Giants, that's a whole lot of ineptitude I saw this weekend from the uh, the Giants. I mean, uh, it's getting so bad, baseball is thinking about making them change their name to the San Francisco Lilliputians. Woo! Just brutal. Their pitching hasn't been good, their bullpen's been terrible, and they haven't hit much. Other than that, they're doing fine. I, I, you can't just blame this on Madison Baumgartner. This is a team that just has fallen apart. I mean, last year they were 57-33 and 33 at the All-Star break, and then they only won 30 games, barely made the playoffs. Of course, they beat the Mets because they threw Bumgarner out there in that wild card game. I mean, Bumgarner in the playoffs is pretty much automatic, so. But they've just been lost. Completely lost. It's It's shocking. It's shocking how far they have fallen off. But like I said, those three world championships have really got to take the sting away. Otherwise, there'll be heads rolling in the uh, by the bay right now. Meanwhile, at the top of the division, the Los Angeles Dodgers, they continue to roll. They won their 10th straight, thanks to Cody Bellinger. Once again, two home runs. My God, I mean, do we... Do we is there anyone hotter in this game than Cody Bellinger? I mean, it's almost like every game he's had two home runs. This is what, is like the sixth, seventh time? I mean, it's incredible how many home runs he's hitting since uh, coming up at the end of April. You know, when you do call up people, they do become really good right away, and they could spark some life in a team. Unlike... The Mets, who just let Ahmad Rosario rot in Las Vegas as Jose Reyes is rotting in the lineup every day. Back to the Mets for a second there. Uh, was shocking to see Rafael Montero not stink it up today. But, as I said before, I think a lot of it had to do with just how terrible the Giants are playing. With the Dodgers sweeping the Rockies... That might get things starting to get a little bit closer in the wild card race. Although uh, the Rockies and Diamondbacks still have quite a bit of separation. The Diamondbacks uh, did beat the Phillies today and now have a two game lead over the Rockies and a big lead over everyone else in the race for the wild card. National League Central, the Brewers continue to hold on to first place as the Cubs. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I'm waiting for the Cubs to turn it on, but they just don't. They've now they lost uh, again to the Marlins today. They're still only one game above 500. They're just threading water right now. It's like I, I still don't believe in the Brewers. Absolutely don't believe in the Brewers. But at a certain point, you're gonna have to start wondering: Are the Cubs really in that much of a lackadaisical situation? They just can't get anything going. National League East. Nationals today. Uh, they lost to the Reds. Tanner Roark got his tits lit again, as Keith Hernandez would say. <laughs> and you know, they mentioned it during a Met game at some point that Tanner Roark had a bad game. And you could hear Keith Hernandez chuckling because he knew what he, he said the last time. So that was quite interesting to see that. Uh, American League East, the Yankees, they're playing bad baseball right now. Uh, Michael Pineda got pounded. They uh, almost came back, but fell 1-1 short, losing to the Texas Rangers 7-6. They lost 2 out of 3 at home. They did not have a good homestand. They've lost uh, 10 out of 12 overall. And the uh, Boston Red Sox, though, they were unable to take advantage as they lost a second straight to the uh, Los Angeles Angels. The Rays now, well, they they had a chance to make some hay this weekend, but they lost two straight. 
The Orioles, they won two straight, so that division is getting closer, but it's almost imploding on each, uh, itself because the division is basically all four, five teams are playing pretty bad baseball right now. The uh, American League West, everyone else is playing pretty good right now. The Astros, they continue to uh, be the best team overall in baseball, 52-25. and 25. Texas Rangers, they're back over 500 now. The Angels are back over 500. The Mariners are at 500. And the A's have uh, played good, and they're getting, they're still well below 500, but they're at least going in the right direction. Uh, they've played well at home all year. They've just struggled on the road. And the uh, big surprise, though, is the, uh, the Central Division. The Minnesota Twins, who were swept last week at home, have returned to favor and have returned to first place, sweeping the Cleveland Indians at Progressive Field. They held the Indians to two runs over the three games, with Irvon Santana getting the shutout win today. Uh, if you look at the Twins, though, it's incredible. And that's our front page story on Sports Encyclopedia today, is the Minnesota Twins. Going back in the first place, the big surprise team in baseball, and the incredible thing about it is, they are terrible at home. They're 16-25 and 25 at Target Field. Teams that are 16-25 at home should be down where the Giants are. Not up in first place, but they're 23-9 and nine on the road. It's incredible how good they've played on the road. They have a minus 38 run differential, too. It's like every number you look at the Twins, it doesn't add up, but somehow they're in first place. And if this continues, Paul Molitor is going to be the obvious choice for manager of the year. Heck, make a manager of the decade the managerial job he's doing. Maybe the Mets could use someone like that. Today's three stars... Is Cody Bellinger, who just continues to bash the baseball. Rene Rivera, who had two home runs himself for the Mets and made some good defensive plays. And Keon Box Broxton of the Braves, who had a strong game against the Brewers. We say a happy birthday to Derek Jeter, who is 43. And we look back at one of the most unique experiments in baseball history. 1944, the tri-corner baseball game, where the... New York Giants, New York Yankees, and Brooklyn Dodgers all played each other in a three-way scrum with each side playing each other two innings, two innings here. They would play two innings and one take would team, could team off. And it was like a big event. It raised money for the war effort. Uh, ticket sales were like six. Uh, raised like six million and the city itself put 50 million in. They had a uh, entertainment after the game with Milton Berle. They had Skills competitions before the game. So check out that story on, on Barstool Sports, the full story. And check it out on sportsencyclopedia.com where history comes alive. Good day.